put mine, and since I've been putting that, and I save them every year when I'm, I've never lost a tomato plant, and that's been, what, probably 10 years? Wow. Not one. I've never, I don't know how it works, but it does. If you notice, I got a cloth on yes, all sir. my tomatoes. I tried that on my bell peppers, I didn't succeed, so I don't use it no more. I got that at Shostones, was probably eight years ago. So when my tomatoes are finished, I take it up, dry it, roll it up, I use it back again. It's a breathable one, yes, sir. but it's thick. Mm -hmm. And it keeps the uh, ground marsh and it keeps it about 10 degrees cooler. Okay. Then in the hot, because you want full sun and that to make. Another thing that cloth does, that I learned from John in that, when it rains, that mud would hit and you had bottom fruit rot. Yes, sir. You, you know how you get? Mm -hmm. I've never had one since I put that claw. Awesome. And it, it's a good investment, but yes, you got to get a good one. I got it at Charleston, three foot, and I, every year I just roll it back. I make my my row, get, and I planted the same holes. All the holes are already made. Yes, sir. And my same post, and I got my wire, and uh, I just plant them. In. I don't have to hoe. I don't have to do it. I drop a little osmocote. You know what osmocote yes, is? I drop a little, it's a, 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 a no burn fertilizer and, and when I water my water and then, then the pipes that I got between the plants, I plant them 30 inches apart. The pipes that I got, I put them in a little nitrate later, like a, a, a teaspoon and I, and I water in the hole. Mm. And, and it's fixed to where between the plants, the roots. Will go to it. Right. Mm -hmm. And when you get hot and dry, your plants will stay green because they don't have to come up and, yes, and get the moisture from on top because they're already getting it. Though. And when they come up and get it from on top, the sun, the sun, be, and that's when they start right. wilting. Yeah, mm -hmm. they start. And that, that black cover has a lot of benefits and that, that's another one that it has. But I don't care to use the whole much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, sir. A lot and of extra one, work. But whenever you use the hoe, you disturb all the roots. I mean, you you can't you can't hoe around a plant without disturbing the roots, and and it's all feeder roots. Mm -hmm. So why not just let it feed, and just let it grow in that bar? So like my old uncle used to say, there's a time to put the hoe, and there's a time not to put the hoe. Yes, sir. So unless they got a real a lot of grass, I don't mess with that and that too much. But if you notice, I got aluminum between mm -hmm. all the the. Uh, it just old aluminum, like pie pans or whatever. It just I was losing sometimes six, seven plants a year. It looked like something would attack them on the top. They just either turn purplish yellow, mm -hmm. and they would just start shriveling and and just and the disease. They would get about that high. So once you got to pull them out with, with newspapers and that, then you got to plant a small one, and between two big ones, and it never would make. So I'd lose. It's something that attacked them tomatoes. It's some kind of viral thing that, and when this, that aluminum messes up whatever it was, and they wouldn't, so I said, well, I'm gonna try that. And so I, I put mine, and since I've been putting that, and I save them every year when I'm, I've never lost a tomato plant, and that's been, what, probably 10 years? Wow. Not one. But you can see the tomato, See, I just put them in, in the, all my holes are made. Yes, sir. All these, are, my holes are made. So once I put this, I don't have nothing to do nothing but time up. I time up on here, I found out, I found that if you time on a stake, the wind turns Twist them, them around. It, the root, this over when you time to just. They uh, stay. It, it it holds them and it's easier to tie. Yes, sir. And a lot of the, a lot of times the the branches are gold and they just hold itself, mm. and they'll hold the weight. They're, they're gonna get full sun and that this afternoon. The more that it goes, the more sun we're gonna get, and uh, it does well. You see that the little. Uh... You can always pull boy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I had that around, so I just made them. Yes, sir. And what I did, I, um, I, I had a grinder, and I just ground these down. So when I put it like this, I put it like this, so when I put the water in, 
it can go out on, on and the, the roots. Sides. You mm -hmm. see the roots and that'll feed on the, the 30 inches apart. Mm -hmm. And and that way I don't have to wet the plant. And it keeps the I finally keep the bugs off of them. And I just water in here and the roots are just I mean, once I take that that cloth off right here and pull them. I mean, them things got roots all over. Yes, sir. It does well. That's and a great idea. It, and it keeps my hole in, in the in the shed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to love to plant the big beef. Mm -hmm. They grow over my head. I, I was like a forest that, and you had to trim them and all that. And it just kept on growing. The bugs would get in there. And so I started getting the determinant, the smaller one. I'm, I've been Last year I planted Bella Rosa and that's what I got. I got 16 Bella Rosa. They don't grow that tall, but I mean, they made tomatoes. I got pictures of it. And it's a good tasting tomato, a good salad tomato, mm -hmm. and very disease resistant. Mm -hmm. it's, I, I do well. I, I love that. That's therapy for me. Mm -hmm. I love doing yard work. I love doing trees. And uh, I think you're going to enjoy that too. Yeah.